Well, thank you again, Major, for looking after Melvin. Well, it's been our pleasure, sir. It has? <laughs> yeah. It has, it has. Oh, and say goodbye to Jeannie for us, won't you? I certainly will. Well, come along, Melvin. Come along, Bye. Melvin. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Yeah, come back again. Yeah. Why did you say that? I just slipped out. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank goodness that kid's gone. Uh, Jeannie, it's safe now. You can come out. Jeannie? Come along, Melvin. I'm coming. <laughs> It was great. They got instant growing flowers. They just pop up. Then I wished for some toys, and there they were. And they got this magic dartboard that moves right in front of your dart so you can't miss. Don't you believe me? Oh, I'm sorry. Of course we believe you. And then I suppose the nice lady came out of the bottle again in a cloud of smoke. No, sir. She went back in, and I got her. Oh, what? Now, that is a naughty boy. Now, you know that belongs to the Nelsons. But the lady's inside. I bet she's a genie, just like the one in Aladdin and his magic lamp. Aladdin's lamp. And poor dear boy, what did they do to you over there? Oh, nonsense, Amanda. As a psychiatrist, the answer is obvious. The boy is suffering from pre-adolescent delusions resulting from a comic book syndrome. OK, I'll open the bottle. I'll show you. <laughs> All right, Melvin, now what do you see? Nothing. It's too dark. But I know she's in here. I'm glad he's from your side of the family. <laughs> Come on now, Jeannie. All I want to do is apologize. Where would I go if I was a Jeannie? I wanted to sulk. I'd go to my bottle, because that's where always Jeannie sulks. Jeannie! Oh. Well, she wasn't in the coffee cup. Yeah? Maybe she's in the pot, huh? Ah. Ah. Roger, would you uh, look under the bar, please? I've looked under the bar. I've looked every place. Her bottle's gone. Oh, Major Healy? Uh, this is Dr. Bellows. Um, would, you, um, would you kindly tell Major Nelson that uh, uh, Melvin sort of uh, accidentally uh, brought home that decorative bottle that he keeps in his living room? Really? Oh, hey, Tony, good news. Dr. Bellows found the bottle. Yeah, where? It's in his house. Is Jeannie in it? Uh, Dr. Bellows, is uh, Jeannie in your... <laughs> oh, hello, uh, Colonel Bottle, this is Major Bellows. Do you have the Nelson there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... Major, have you been drinking? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, why don't I come over and pick it up, sir? Oh, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll drop it by in the morning. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I just take a couple of minutes to be over there. I can pick it up right away. But Major Nelson, after all, it's just a bottle. Or is it? <laughs> well, it's an, it's an antique, sir. I wouldn't want you to be worried about it. I'll, I'll be right over, huh? Major Nelson, it's getting late. You can get it in the morning, and that's an order. Yeah, but, but, uh, Colonel Bottle. <laughs> Melvin, put that bottle down. Major Nelson's coming for it in the morning. He is? explain a lot of things. I'm sick. Well, it's time to go to bed. And leave the bottle of sherry there. How about a glass of wine? You oh, get back. When I come back, yes. Where am I? <laughs> 